So you ask about, you know, one of the, the unique ingredients, actually the source rock and its distribution is key in the Southern gas basin, the Anglo um, Polish basin. The key is the fact that we've got um, carboniferous coal measures, what you would call the Pennsylvanian, mm -hmm. uh, a coal um, bearing sequence that is gas prone. That is the main key ingredient directly above which we have a reservoir unit of Permian age, the Rotligan sandstone, Le Mans sandstone, and above that a thick canopy of salt which acts as a super seal. Um, there are other uh, reservoirs and plays in the Southern North Sea but by far and away the most important is that one. When we go to the rift system further to the north it's different. Um, the rift system by its very nature was um, due to extensional forces we formed a trilete rift system consisting of the Viking Graben, Central Graben and Moray Firth, in which during the rift episode, the Kimmeridge clay formation, a marine oil prone source rock was deposited. And it's the subsequent subsidence of that source rock during the Mesozoic and the Cenozoic that's led to its maturity. So we have this situation of a super source rock buried present day uh, in the oil or gas window that although stratigraphically is younger can actually charge older stratigraphies because they lie higher structurally on the margins of the basin as well in as charging synrift units interbedded with the source rock so self-sealing self-sourcing and finally it can also leak up into the post-rift stratigraphy with reservoirs and seals. So we, we span the whole of the stratigraphic column in the North Sea with pre-rift, synrift and post-rift reservoirs. And that system, that is what has produced just for the North Sea rift super basin alone, 95 billion barrels of oil to date.